In this first video of our Dentistry Basics series, I'm going to be breaking down the timeline and steps that are required to become a licensed general dentist in the United States. This timeline is going to start after finishing high school. So whether you're coming directly from high school or you're coming from a different career, you can get a scale for how long this process is and what all it entails. The first four years, most people will be spending in a university, obtaining a bachelor's degree and completing their prerequisites for dental school. Videos will be coming soon about majors for undergrad and pre-dental students. Before you can be accepted into a dental school in the United States, you need to take the dental admission test, which is a computer-based multiple choice exam. You also need to write a personal statement as part of the dental school application, obtain letters of recommendation, and complete the required sections on the dental application, which is called a DIA ADSAS. I already have a bunch of videos on my channel about all the sections of the DAT and two videos about personal statements. After sending in that dental school application, the dental schools will then decide if they would like to give you an interview as a prospective student for their program. It's up to you how many programs you would like to apply to and how many programs you would like to interview at if you have the opportunity to be considered by multiple schools. In order to be admitted, you must complete a dental interview and then be accepted after further review. Once accepted to the dental school if you plan to attend, you'll have to submit a deposit within two weeks of your acceptance. These deposits are non-refundable, so if you're interested in attending a different program but you have not heard back yet, you'll still have to make a deposit on the first program. At this point, you have been accepted by a dental program and you have chosen to attend. You've paid your first semester of tuition and you're going to begin dental school, which is traditionally a four-year process. However, there are two dental schools in the United States that will be offering three-year programs, University of Pacific in San Francisco, California, and Roseman University in Utah. During your four years of dental school, you're going to have various requirements set by your specific school, but there are some standards across every single dental school that every single student will have to complete in order to obtain a dental license to practice as a general dentist. There are three things that you will need to do once you are in dental school before you're able to practice as a general dentist. First being obtaining your DDS or DMD degree from the dental school that you attend. The requirements for obtaining that degree are going to vary from school to school, and I will discuss classes and clinical requirements in a different video. You will also need to pass your state licensing exam. Each state differs, unfortunately. REB and CDCA are the most common organizations that would cover most of the 50 states, but not every single one. ADEX is the company that distributes the exam and these other organizations are the ones that provide the test to the students in each state. This is a clinical exam. It is testing your ability to work on a patient and perform various dental skills. It's currently under reform and in certain states they are accepting mannequin based exams and other states are still requiring live patient exams. This is administered over two different periods throughout your fourth year of dental school and you will need to pass every single part to move on to the next part and eventually complete the licensing process. Each part of the state licensing exam will be discussed in a different video. Part three of three that you will need to obtain your dental license in full to practice in the United States is to pass the integrated national board dental exam. INBDE. It is another computer-based multiple choice exam that is standardized between every single dental student in the country. So you've made it through four years of obtaining a bachelor's degree, potentially some time in between through gap years or if you've been working in a different job and you've been in dental school for four years and finally obtained all of your licensure to practice. Now you can work as a general dentist for the rest of your life if that is what you would like to do. And once you're working as a general dentist, there are two main opportunities. You can work as an associate dentist, meaning you are employed by someone else, or you can work for yourself, meaning you are an owner of a dental practice. There are also options to further your education through general dentistry residencies, specializing in things like orthodontics, endodontics, prosthodontics, pediatrics, oral medicine, and more, or non-clinical routes to use your DDS or DMD degree, like academia or research. 
There is one caveat here. If you wanna practice in certain states like New York, you're required to complete your residency, which would add an additional year into your training before you can fully work as a general dentist. So I hope this video helped you understand the timeline and steps that it requires to become a dentist in the United States. Like this video if you're interested in this dentistry basic series. Let me know which topics about dentistry you would like me to break down and simplify in another video. And if you're new here, be sure to stick around, subscribe. My name is Haley, I'm a dental student in my second year in Michigan, and I would love to have you follow along for other videos on this channel, including this basics series, but also vlogs and other informative content about dentistry and my life in dental school.